Hello everyone. Are you looking for an open source way to monitor all of the systems on your computer? Well today I'm going to tell you about Uptime Kuma. Uptime Kuma is an easy to use self-hosting monitoring tool that you can set up in your computer or in your environment or on a cloud server in a matter of minutes. And as you can see from this one, it gives you an easy to read dashboard where you can put multiple items in and you can give them different tags and it tells you the status of it and you can see the status history. And you can also set up a status page. Today I'm going to go through all of the steps of setting it up in a Docker container on your own network. So I'm going to assume that you already have Docker installed. If you don't know how to, do, to install Docker, just leave me a comment down below letting me know and I'll do a future video on that. Now here's the official GitHub page about Uptime Kuma. And if you're still kind of on the fence about what all I can do, there is a um, live demo of Uptime Kuma that you can watch here. And it tells you of all the features it has. It can monitor Uptime for HTTP, HTTPS, TCP, ping, DNS records, and, and stream, different things like that. The default install instructions for their site goes off of Docker, so that's what we're going to be following today. So what this is, this is an orange pie that I bought for the sole purpose of running a couple of different Docker apps on it. So today I'm going to put, set up Uptime Kuma in a Docker, as a Docker instance on here. And what I always like to do first is I create an SBIN folder underneath my user. And then what I'll do is I'll uh, put the Docker run command for the container inside of a script so that it's all right there to run again in the future if I ever need it. So I'll do sudo vi something like uptime kuma dash start dot sh and then inside here I'll put the actual docker run command for it in this case it's going to be docker run dash d for the background dash dash restart always I'm sorry restart equals always slash p for ports the default port for Tom Kuma's 3001 3001 and 3001. In this situation, 3001 is available. If you're on a computer and you don't think you have it available, then you can easily change this by changing the first number right here for your local machine. Then we're going to do V. Then we're going to create a volume to store our data in so that we don't have to re-enter everything every time we stop and start up time come up for updates. And then we're going to name this. I'm going to call it uptime Kuma camel case, and the exact image that we are pulling is the Lewis Lim, Lewis Lam, of time, time dash Kuma. We're gonna hit escape shift C Z to save it, and then if I do a quick ls, you'll see of time Kuma. But first, we have to make it ex executable. So we're going to do sudo to mod plus x to make it executable and the name of the file which is uptime kuma dash start dot sh now if I do ls again you can see it's not executable so now to run it we're just going to do dot forward slash to tell it to run an app, to run a script in this current directory and we're going to do uptime kuma dash start dot sh and then we're going to hit run and since it can't find uptime kuma image locally it's going to reach out to docker and pull it down so this may take a minute Okay, now that it's finished, we're going to quick Docker PS just to confirm that it's up. And you can see Uptime Kuma has been up for a grand total of 20 seconds, or created 20 seconds ago, and it's been up 2 seconds. And it says it's health and starting. We're going to go to the local host. And we're going to tell it port 3001. And the first time it loads, it's going to go straight into creating a profile for you. So let's just give it a username, something simple like network bow, and a simple password, and create. And so let's create a monitor first. And as you can see, you can have different types of monitors from HTTP, TCP, ping, uh, push, uh, Microsoft SQL Server, Radius, Radius, different types of things. To start, let's do a simple HTTPS check, and we're going to check from our website. So it's going to be HTTPS networkbo.com 
that you can give it. We're just going to stick with the basic for this walkthrough. And then we're going to hit save. And it says it saves. And it's, we're getting a signal of 200 that it's say OK. And I'll open up a new tab and go to network mode just to confirm. And their network mode is up and running. So we can also add another monitor. For example, I had different Docker containers running on the same machine. Uh, one example is Samba. And I can give it the container name or the ID number. In this, in this situation, the container name is Samba. So I just do Samba. And we'll have to set up the Docker host. This is on the same computer, so it's just going to be Samba. Connection type, socket, socket. And then we're going to test. Oh, I have to give permission to sock. Okay, so this the test didn't work because in the run command, I didn't give it access to the Docker sock. So what we can do is we can go back. We can simply, we're going to run Docker stop. And we'll cancel time Kuma. And then we're going to do sudo vi. No time can we start. Second volume for var run docker stock. And then we're going to save, escape, shift cz. And we're going to run the uptime kuma script. Oh, I forgot I got to remove the previous. Now we're run kuma script again. It says it was successful. We'll do docker ps to confirm. And there it is starting. All right, so now if we test our Docker socket for the local container, it says it was successful. I'm going to give it a friendly name. Uh, I call this machine my orange pie, so I'm going to name this orange pie. And save it. And so now I can save this monitor for this other Samba Docker container I have on the same machine. If you want to know how to do a monitor for a container, Docker container on an external machine, comment down below and let me know. All right, and we're going to add another one. This time we're going to do another HTTP, but we're going to do looking for a keyword. And this one we're going to make sure Network Bow is actually responding. Networkbow.com. And we're going to give it the keyword network, which it should be relatively easy to find. And I'm going to give this one a tag, just a simple tag so it's easy to find. And we're going to call it uh, external. Click add. And we're going to click save. And it looks like it's finding it pretty fine. But what I specifically want to look at was notifications. You can set up notifications. And it gives you a ton of different options for notifications. My favorite notification option to use is Discord. So I'm going to set this up as my Discord alert. And it goes to one. And you have to go get a web URL for your Discord site. All right, so I very quickly created a Discord server so we can do this. And to get your webhook, you simply go to Server Settings, Integration, Create a Webhook, Create Webhook, and we're going to do New Webhook. And when you click on it, it will let you give it a name so you can recognize it. I'm call it Kuma. And I want it to go to the general thing, so I'm going to save. And I'm going to copy. And once I copy it, I'm going to go back to Uptime Kuma, put it here, and we're going to go and test it real quick. And Akuma says it was successful, so let's go back to my server. And there's my Discord alert testing right here. So it was successful. So now I'm going to set this as my default, and I'm going to apply it to all current existing monitors, and I'm going to get saved. So now I want to show you what this kind of looks like on this end. If there's an alert ever goes out, so what I'm going to do is I want to stop Samba. The Samba container state is exited, so it's not up and running. And if we go to Discord, we can see we got this message from Uptime Kuma saying your Samba service went down. It gives us service name and it gives the address and the time and the container state in this situation. So let me bump it back up. 
And as you can see, the Kuma alert will send you an alert that the service came back up and responding up, responded as well into in Discord. Create a status page. So right now, it doesn't show any status pages available. So we're going to create a new one, and we're going to call this Network Bow. And you can give it a precise trail if you wanted to. So we're just going to call it Network Bow. Click Next. And so for by default, it's going to show you this for your status page. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on Edit Status Page. And the very first thing I'm going to do is switch it to Dark Theme, because everybody loves Dark Theme. So the very first thing you can do is you can add monitors or you can create groups. So in this particular situation, I'm going to create a group called Website. And then under Website, I'm going to put Network Bow. I'll create another group, and this one's going to be Docker Containers. And under that, I'm going to put Samba. And if I click Save on everything, this is what the final look of it is. Now you can always just put everything under the same group if that makes it easier for you. And you can also tell it to show tags, which in this situation, the only tag would have been for Network by Responding. Let's see, it shows it as external and we would move it under website and then we would select the save and we'll see this and as you can see it shows the whole status for the past couple hours and this is where we kicked it offline and where we brought it back online at. So there's a lot of different cool things you can do with this so play around with it and leave some comments down below some other things you'd like to see thank you guys for joining me